Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I have a first impressions on the collab makeup line that was created with beauty influencers. I found out what Lizzie do was um, involved in this project, so I was like, oh, let me go support her. And I went to Sally's Beauty Supply and picked up more than one thing, and I spent $140, which was crazy. But if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. This is the makeup look that I did. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat, follow my blogging channel that I have here on YouTube with my family, Jackie Vlogs. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my Hangover RX uh, Primer. It's from Too Faced. just going to go ahead and put it on all over. Okay, I'm kind of nervous about this foundation because I don't know if it's going to match my face. It is in tan. Normally, I would never go with a foundation that has the name tan because right now it's fall and I'm not tan, I don't think. Um, it just scares me. It makes me feel like it's for summertime or something. <laughs> but we're just going to have to see if it matches. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the back of my hand. Okay, so as I pump it, not a lot comes out, so I feel like... That's kind of good because some foundation pumps tend to waste a lot of product. So I'm just going to go ahead and, ooh, feels very, very full coverage. And the shade seems to really, really match me. It does feel really heavy though. Like, look at that. I have a few little pimples, few little visitors. I'm just going to go ahead with a damp beauty blender. I'm going to go ahead and take off my earrings. It's very creamy. I would say definitely heavy. And I think it says on here, um, or I saw somewhere it said full coverage maybe. Maybe it was on the, at Sally's. I am trying to hide everything on my face. I think I did like three pumps and it's still going, it's still covering. Okay, from right now I'm looking at the um, camera screen. I feel like I look really shiny and this is called Meet Your Matte. So I'm assuming it's going to dry matte um, and I feel like I look really yellow. So I didn't get a concealer from their line, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my handy dandy Tarte Shape Tape. I used two of them in tan and medium. I feel like it was really easy to work with the foundation. For being a matte foundation, I feel like it didn't dry super fast, which is good because I really am scared of... Um, like matte foundations just because I am more of a dry skin of it. So I'm just gonna set literally where I put the concealer. Just gonna do it like that and I don't dust it off right away. So I'm gonna look a little crazy. Alright so the next next collab product that I got is this collab Kill the Shine Press Powder. So this is what I'm gonna use to set my face. And this is in the color beige tan, so it's like half and half. It's number four and five, four slash five to be exact. Go ahead with my Real Techniques uh, brush, face brush. I'm just gonna dab it like this. Just, uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. And I feel like the foundation already like dried. Feels a little sticky. I like to prime with Max um, Pro Longwear Waterproof Color Stick, and this is in the color Sweet Praline. Looks like this. I 
I love using eye primers that have a tint of color on them. Um, I don't really like using clear eye primers because I like to even out the color on my lids. So I like to do my face first. I don't know why. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish the face. And I'm using non-collab products. Um, I'm going to use my Lorac Pro to Go palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and contour it a little bit. So it has the blushes here and I'm just going to use a contour shade. I'm going to go ahead and do my blush and I'm just going to grab those two shades. One of them kind of has like a hint glow on, on it. It's called Coral. That's why you kind of see a highlight, but I no, haven't highlighted yet. So I want to feel a little bit extra snatched today. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my contour with the setting powder. I feel like I'm talking extra quiet. I don't mean to. Um, but my son is sleeping right next door to this room. With my beauty blender. Contour girl. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's what I was gonna do. I'm gonna go and start with my eyeshadows. I have no idea what I want to do today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wing it. Ooh, has anybody, um, does anybody watch the uh, Martha and Stort, Martha, Martha and Stort, Martha and Snoop show? I love that. Me and my husband definitely bond over that show. So I'm just going ahead with this transition shade and it is called, it's number four. Does it have names? It doesn't have a name. It just says it's, I guess one of the, like it's in, divided in quads. One of them is called Daybreaker or is that the look? I'm a little confused. It has like two little eyes with, I don't know, is it two different looks or if it's, one of them says Daybreaker and then the other one says Indian Summer. And on top of like the colors on the eyeshadows here, it just has numbers. So I'm using number four. So I'm just gonna go ahead, transition shade here. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with number one, which is definitely an orange um, fall color. I'm gonna go ahead and layer that on top. Ooh, really pigmented. Is nice. Did I even say this is the collab palette that I'm using by the way? So I guess I'm it's like first impressions at the same time. I'm just gonna tell you what I think. As I swatch though, this is a color. It's pretty pigmented. Ooh. So you see? These are the top four. So far I've used the pinky and this one. And these are the bottom four. Okay, they are a little like uh, dusty, so when I put it in to grab the color, it does have um, fallout a little bit. It's definitely are pigmented. You can definitely see the orange color. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my brush because I need a blend for my life. Go ahead with the burgundy color and put it on my lid. I'm going with a dark matte brown. 
I'm just really focusing it on my crease. Go ahead and grab the lightest color and highlight under my brow a little bit. Okay, now I need to make sure the blending looks really blended. So I'm going to go in with that uh, number four brown again, tap off the excess. And I want to really blend that up here. I need to go in and do my brows. I'm just gonna use, I didn't get the eyebrow pencil from there, but it did look similar to this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one to kind of start looking at it complete because it's throwing me off. But so far, the shadows are really good. Like, I love the colors. I wish that um, lightest color in there, that nude color, I wish it was matte. But so far, it's very pigmented, easy to blend. Now, once you have your brows done, everything kind of starts coming together. I'm going to add that burgundy. Now, I am going to go ahead and try the collab liner pen. It's called, it's Ink Addict Liner Pen. It's called Work. So excited to try this because what would Lizzie do um, was one of the creators for collab and we all know how much she loves her wing so I'm just hoping this is easy and really black I want to say it's like a felt is that the correct word I don't know but it's definitely the tip of the pen is definitely harder than the ones that I use um, so it's it's a little but it's more precise because it is like stiffer Now the struggle is real to get this one, so I'm just going to go ahead and snap, snap my fingers and hopefully this works. I added a little bit of the white liner that I did get. It's a liquid liner that I got from Collab as well. It's Ink Addict and then it just says the color is in Crave. Now, as you guys can see, you guys won't know this, but I took a little long because I've never worked with a white liquid liner before and I wanted to say I made a mistake and I had to go back with a black pencil, I mean with a black liquid liner from Collab. Um, it's not as white as I want it to be, but honestly I'm like so scared to keep going back and like ruining it. So I'm just not gonna do any more. But I think it looks pretty cool. And yeah, so I just did kind of like halfway. Um, with the black and then just did it on top over. I went ahead and put on my lashes because I didn't want to have you here for hours. Um, you know, something real funny. I totally forgot to use one of the um, one of the products that I got. <laughs> and it's this brush here from Collab. Um, this is a contouring brush and I totally, totally I never have had something like this, but it was pretty cool. So I was like, let me get this. And I totally didn't even use it to contour. So let me just go ahead a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go over my contour just to try the brush because this was a first impressions. So I'm just going to go ahead. Ooh. This brush feels so soft to the face. Feels like it's such good quality. It gives me like a NARS kind of vibe. Um, it's pretty cool. Feels so good. But I don't know how I would blend with this. I feel like this is not really a blending brush. So I would still have to go over um, with me my other brush. That's what I do until I get like, like the habit from using like the same stuff all the time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust off that excess. With but I got six lip products from Collab. These are it. Look at these. I just could not, could not pass them up. And what I got, I did get one liquid lipstick 
and it's this out of breath color which by the way I wore the other day and if I have a picture I will insert it but this is beautiful okay and it's a liquid lipstick the only thing I would change this is the color the only thing that I would change is the wand I feel like ugh, like I usually use a liquid lipstick and I use the wand and I outline my lips and it was kind of difficult I definitely had to use a lip liner over this um, but the color and the wear and the stay of this baby was awesome um, obviously when I ate it just came out of the middle part of your lips but I love how I have dry skin I have dry lips that this honestly like my lips with other ones um, like the Kylie ones they tend to get like dry and then I feel like I can't really it's not comfortable for too long like I have to take it all off and reapply but this loved it like my lips felt like they just had like regular lipstick on like they didn't feel like like oh like it too tight so this I'm not gonna put it on today but I really did like it the only thing I don't didn't really love was the applicator the one that it has like the I don't know it was just better quality I feel like it would have been better the wand itself so I got two lip glosses I got Yas Queen it's like a really light baby pink um, I'm hoping it's a little clear because I'm just gonna use this to go over my lipsticks and the whatever lip gloss and then I got girl please nude lipstick and toss and turn it's this one and yes ma'am and they're all set and finishes I did not want to get any matte lipsticks just because I feel like I already went a little um, over my comfort zone with the whole matte foundation the liquid lipstick because I was really nervous that I wasn't gonna like it um, and yeah so I was like let me just go ahead I know I have chappity chap chap lips like as what would Lizzie do would say and um, Christmas is kind of like winter is coming, you know, cold weather here in Chicago, and my lips are going to get cray. So let's go ahead and pick what color I'm going to do. So I feel like I really went a little burgundy. Um, mm, I don't know. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys. This one is Yes Ma'am. Definitely more like of a pink nude. Let's see which one I want. Let's see which one I want. Girl, please. More like a mauve -y. Yeah, definitely a mauve nude, which I didn't think it would be. Okay, this one's definitely more mauve. This one is toss and turn. So I think I'm going to go with... I'm definitely going to go with the first one. I I love how easy it is to apply and it is pretty moisturizing that's why I got the satin finishes but the shade I don't want it for this look so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Yas Queen <laughs> lip gloss and I'm gonna layer this over hopefully lighten it a bit Oof, this is so pretty doesn't smell like anything and I'm just going to go ahead and swatch the other color for you guys. This is definitely a darker gloss. It's this one right here. I'm just definitely a gloss kind of girl because like I said, I have dry lips all the time. And gloss just helps to hide that. So now that I've finished the lip, I'm going to go ahead and dust everything off. Especially the under eye. So that is it for the First Impressions collab makeup line. I am really impressed. Um, I only bought this, and I'm going to be honest, I only bought it from this makeup line because what would Lizzie do was in it. And I am pretty impressed. Um, I didn't want to get too hype about it because I don't normally do anymore. I feel like now that my, I'm older, I'm, I'm into more like decorating my house and like getting things for my kids. Makeup is not like pri priority. I still enjoy it a lot, but I really didn't know what to expect, especially because it was at Sally's, no shade Sally's, but you know, I just wasn't sure. But um, it really, really exceeded my expectations, I'm not gonna lie. This foundation feels like it would be $40. The packaging, it just feels heavy. The lipsticks, my camera died, I mean, I ran out of memory, so I gotta really hurry up and cut this video. 
So I am really impressed. I really liked everything about this line. I mentioned to you kind of what I would change a little bit, but I really like it. The prices were super affordable. You know, foundation was $14.29. I got the pro discount, so it was $13.79 for me, but everything else, the high sting, which was, I believe, the eyeshadow palette was $14.29, and that was the most expensive thing. Everything was under that. So yeah that was my first impressions i hope you guys like the video i hope you guys like the look and i will see you guys next time if you are not subscribed to my vlog channel i do vlog so you guys will see the liquid lipstick on my vlog channel because i did wear it and i vlogged that day but go check it out jackie vlogs here on youtube and i will see you guys next time bye